Welcome back to A Thieves Tale in Skyrim. My name is Ricky and this is Morgan. Last week we found out some real interesting information about a Carlia, and this week we're heading up with Mercer Fry to confront her and definitely confirm all of the information we learned last week. Hello, Wolf. Hello. Okay. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. This week has me all kinds of worried because, dad, go more wolves. Um, well, for one thing, uh, illusion spells don't exactly work on uh undead illusion skills don't work on undead unless you have an illusion skill of 90 which is slightly problematic oh my goodness wolves can just die i mean they are don't get me wrong but like can you not please just let it go right like it's okay to just ignore me so anyway basically today we're gonna be playing support for mercer and, uh, while, while he kills all of the, uh, Draugr. Yes, I am. So, he killed the horse because he's a nightmare of a human being. Um, sorry if that's uncomfortable for you to hear. But, like, really? Was it necessary to kill her horse? You could have just spooked her horse to run away. Horses are only magic when they're tied to me, the dragonborn. Open the door, Mercer. Alright, so we're gonna muffle up. And, also... We may be, uh, flame atronocking it, because it's fun. We didn't use the flame atronoc that much, because I tend to, um, I tend to rely a little bit too hard on it. And when I play as a, when I play as a conjurer, I tend to rely very heavily on it. Also, Mercer has, like, 12 health. He has this absorb health thing, but it seems like he gets knocked down a lot. Ow! He did tell me to watch out for the spikes, but that did not change anything, did it? Hey, Mercer, I'm gonna kill this, uh... Little time for talk. What do you want? Nothing. I'm killing that Draugar in front of us to put my sneak up. Oh, and this one, too. And my archery up. Oh, look at that! I leveled up! Unfortunately, I don't think my sneak is quite high enough to do what I wanted to do. So I really thought my sneak would be higher by now. And part of me actually thought about getting sneak training just so that way it would be higher by now. But yeah, so we can't take deadly aim, so we're gonna hold off. Wow, Carlia put a bunch of bear traps. She really wanted you to get hurt. It's like she's angry at you for something. It's fine. The nice thing is, your sneak goes up every time you get a sneak attack. The downside is your sneak goes up very little with the bow compared to, say, a dagger or uh, another... Uh, melee weapon. It still goes up. It just doesn't go up as much. The white. I'm going to activate this tripwire. I don't know what it's going to do. That might have been useful when you were fighting the white. Supple Ancient Nord Bow, still not as good as mine. I mean, it could theoretically be as good as mine if... Um... If I was doing smithing, obviously a regular bow might outclass the bound bow. If I was doing smithing. And yeah, I can already hear some people being like, you know, Stealth Archer is really overpowered. But it only gets overpowered when you start doing a lot of enchanting and smithing. There we go. I'm just making this a little bit easier for when we go down there. Didn't miss that one, but the Restless did not go down. Did that time. This dungeon is way more fun when you have your illusion high enough to, like, cause them to fight each other. Because then, well, I mean, right now I'm just picking them off. You can't hide from me. I mean, no, they can't. There we go. At least so far we've been facing mostly lighter weight enemies. Uh, in these restlesses. And, like, whites have been the toughest, you know, unlike highwaymen, which I did learn I am a high enough level to get highwaymen, but they just seem so much tougher than they should be. I actually forgot about this one. Ow! How did he hit me? He can't even see me. He doesn't even know where I am. Stupid skeevers. Kill them quick. Just st 
Stop being so stupid. Because we're using a lot more uh, conjuration this week. I suspect next week might be an illusion heavy week, particularly because I know what we'll be doing. Who's there? Your feeble really? Game? Mercer, you are getting way too into this, I have to say. What? What? That wasn't a fight, it was an execution? No, dude, it was a fight. Mercer, go kill that right. I don't actually think they have written their own epitaph, Mercer, because, you know, they're Draugar. Man, really? Your feeble attempt to hide is I had to pick the white first, huh? Hey, I don't know. The other side got gots ones, too. Hopefully it's also not a white. It is! You know, I said we would be a support class this week for Mercer. I'm not picking in a death lock right now. Uh, but we're really not, are we? You know, he's more support for us. Watch out, there's poison. Really? Uh, I couldn't tell because of this dragger walking into a wall. But I couldn't tell because of the pots that were stacked up. Who's there? You can't hide from me. That door up ahead looks perfect for hiding an ambush. Be ready. Okay. It's certainly not going to be a. Uh... This better be important. Well, there's a white and a death lord up there. Also, the word for dismay. Or disarm, rather. Sorry, not dismay. Ow! I think I just got a sneak attack on Mercer. <laughs> oh, it's actually a Scourge Lord, not a Death Lord. My bad. Despite the fact that Mercer... Ooh, my sneak went up. Despite the fact that Mercer seems to have... Um, a weapon that drains health. He will lose health quite quickly. See, look, he's already down on the ground. And I don't think it's because I hit him. Although I might have. No. Thank you, Scourge Lord. Jeez. You don't get to, to... Yeah, are you good now? Are you good now? I'm pretty sure I did more damage than you. Mercer! Come unlock this door. And maybe Carlyle will be on the other side. It's one of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. Yeah, you're gonna get through this. You need a little dragon claw thing. Matching claw, they're normally impossible. So, fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. Mm-hmm. Carly is close. How'd you do that? Now let's get moving. Okay. Casually walk into this. Hey. What happened? Hey. Do you honestly think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your? Mercer, I saw you fight. I think she'd win. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise, Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. Uh, I'm no fool, hey. Crossing blades Where'd she go? Death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you in this ancient... Why are you killing me, Mercer? I mean, aside from the fact that I know the truth. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. You know what's weird is you go from here straight to that other dungeon, I guess. Stab me already, jeez. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus. That ain't gonna happen. Off. How are you gonna prove it now? My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. Um, then what does it say? I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of like, language uh, I've never seen before. Perhaps it could be translated. Infer. I'm sorry about your horse, by the way. Um, turns out Mercer's kind of a sociopath. 
and it gets worse. So I said next week we would be using a lot more illusion magic, but that took almost no time because once again I have discovered a dungeon that I thought would take much longer than it did. It took almost no time. So we're going to keep pressing forward. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. Uh, how does he know the Falmer language, by the way? Can you translate it? No. However, I know someone who might. Okay. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo. Calselmo. Calselmo, where's your stupid nephew? I don't like this. Look, what are you doing here? Blah, 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 blah yeah. I, here you, are the authority on ancient Falmer, as opposed to the non-ancient Falmer. Then you were well informed. Can I view it? Preposterous. That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. Really? You must be mad to think I'd allow How did you survive a Dwemer ruin? Do, 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 do. Did you know that there was a Dwemer museum key here? Because I didn't. Bye, loser. I have things to study. What is <laughs> I didn't know it was there. There's a little arrow is pointing right to it. Which is weird, because normally when I do the Thieves' Guild quest, I've already killed Nimi, and so he's already given me the key. I don't know if they're going to be mad at me for being in here, because... There must be a dozen men up there. Your order of the yard. Stop it um... I'd rather die! Okay, so as it turns out... Oh, no. No. Where's the other guy? Okay. Okay. Well, that sucked a little bit. And I do have a bounty or whatever. But, like, we're good now. Ish. Go away. You're not allowed to be in here either. Don't make me kill you. Okay. This Stormcloak soldier is going to make me kill him. Well, I'm going to just... Is he just going to follow me? Yeah, he's just going to freaking follow me. I'll try and make this quick. Yeah. Screw you, if you're gonna keep following me, I am gonna kill you. I am killing you now. Hey, watch it. Watch it. I am gonna kill you, Stormcloak Soldier. You're on your side. No, you're not! You're not on my side. I mean, yeah, technically, I guess I'm on your side. But, like, we're not on the same side. Right, so, th and unfortunately in here, there is a Stormcloak Soldier. There's usually a Markarth guard of some sort. And I don't think this guard is actually supposed to be in here. I'm going to calm him. Hey, what the? Keep your damn magic and I'm going to calm the wizard's guard. Because wizard's guards are stupid. Yeah. Um, and maybe I'll make them fight to their death in a second. But for right now, I'm just... Who is detecting me? Seriously! What is going on with these guys and like... Following me around. All right, I'm making that wizard's guard kill him. Hey, hands off. No, come on. You're going to go fight this wizard guard to the death. You're both going to die. I'm just telling you that now. You. We're going to fight each other until one of you dies. I don't, I don't think that this Stormcloak soldier is actually supposed to be in here. I think it's a bug. Because it doesn't seem to happen every single time I'm I'm in this 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 particular dungeon. Wow, that. Technically, I think that one was my best, but yeah, that was unpleasant. I do not like having to kill people, but that Stormcloak soldier was driving me crazy. <sighs> All right. Look, I don't want to. I don't want to kill you. So, you just calm right on down. Now, the down way, which is the alternate path where you can avoid those guards, kind of sucks a little bit. Cause you kind of gotta look. So this gassy area, see it's clear, and then you step on this, and the gas goes away, and then hey, look, it comes back real quick. For some reason, I can't grab this Markarth guard. Okay, so I can't pick up that guy, which I thought I could. So what I'm going to do is clear this out. And then sprint! While healing! 
And then go back to stealth. And keep healing. There we go. Okay. Hell, it worked. There's a guard in this room. There she is. I'm good and muffled. Yeah, I've played enough stealth games. I don't know why. I should just be barreling through. One of these days I'm going to play the Thieves Guild. And we're going to go full assault on this Thieves Guild. Like, I don't know. Like I'm playing Doom or something. Oh, oh, oh. But now, sneak attacks with foes do three times damage. I'm going to turn this valve. What can't be happening? I think, I think I killed some people. I've done things very differently this week. One thing I may have learned a little bit is that maybe, and I'm just going to throw this out there. We're not the best thief. And just, just maybe, just maybe, uh, Morgan isn't cut out to really be a thief. Like she was caught. Accidents like this don't just happen. Someone is trying to sabotage my uncle's research. If there is a thief, he won't leave this tower alive. But shouldn't we inform Master Calselmo? No, Cal please don't inform Master Calselmo. deal with my uncle. Just go. Scour this place from top to bottom. All right. Bye. I mean, I very much enjoy the Dishonored balcony thing right there. Um, before Dishonored. Now, I've only died when I've done this like five times, so. Oh, good. We're here to teach you a lesson. This is fast. Hey! Hey, it's my horse! <laughs> I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but I had a horse. I wonder what these hired thugs are here to do. It seems a little odd that there'd be hired thugs. I mean, I've done nothing wrong at all. Contract, here we go. Janessa. Holy cow! I genuinely thought it was like the game already sending hired thugs after me for the whole Markar thing. And I was like, that seems really quick, but okay. No, it was Janessa, the person we stole a ring from like two episodes ago. Hello, people. This should help translate Gallus's journal. I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply... I, uh... A stole it. I stole it. I expected notes. It's quite the tale. It's really not. I stole it. And killed a couple of guards now, in the process. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the guild for months. And Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls... An unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Sure. Does the journal say where this wealth he stole came it? From? Yes. Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from no. anyone's knowledge. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us. So it's true. Gallus's journal mentioned the Twilight Sepulchre. I gotta know what it is. I mean, I know what it is, but Morgan doesn't. You've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. Sure, okay. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. Okay. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. Absolutely. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation. Well, I guess we found out the truth about Mercer. He's kind of a douchebag. You really should have seen it coming with all of his dialogue and the way Stephen Russell voices him. I guess next week we'll probably be telling the guild what Mercer did, and I guess we'll have to go hunt him, although that probably won't be next week. This has been A Thief's Tale in Skyrim. Thank you for watching, and come back soon for more Skyrim.